Welcome back, it's Dr. Somji. Initially, we did a video talking about Botox for the face and neck, and then we realized there's so many indications that we do at the clinic for the body. So stay tuned for some really exciting treatments that, where you can have Botox on the body. So the first one that we see is for a condition called hyperhidrosis, so excessive sweating. This is something that's really, really popular at the clinics and also really changes lives because there's only a certain amount of antiperspir antiperspirant or deodorant that you can put on, especially if you're wearing colored clothing, especially if you sweat a lot, then actually it can be quite debilitating in general social lifestyle as well. So I've actually seen patients that sweat excessively in their hands and not able to shake hands with people. It was fine during when we had the COVID pandemic when no one touched it, shook hands, but people starting to shake hands again. So, you know, and it can really affect essentially your job in business, etc., and it can affect your confidence. Also, one of the areas that tends to sweat a lot is the armpit area. And that's one of the prime areas that we inject Botox. Small amounts of Botox injections in that area. And actually, you stay pretty much sweat free for at least about six months after the treatment. And it's minimally invasive, not so painful, done under local anesthetic. And it's something that really can fit quite well within your schedule, especially if you're only really having it during the summer months as well. So actually, hyperhidrosis is really important. Some of the cool areas that I've injected over the time period on TV, I've injected underneath the breast before for an individual that was sweating underneath the breast. Also done soles of the feet for, for let's say people that don't want to sweat in their sandals and have that sweat patch in their sandals. <laughs> That's one of the areas that you can have it done. Um, so if, you, if you're wearing very expensive um, uh, Louboutins or something like that and you don't want to sweat in your shoes, then actually you can have Botox injected. It is a little bit painful on the palms of the feet though. So you have to be careful. There's no pain, no gain, as they say. One of the most viral trends is trap tox. So putting Botox in the trapezius muscle to slim down the neck and also for certain individuals to reduce neck tension. I think that this treatment, we've only really started doing it over the last year or so since it became a little bit more popular and really only lasts around six months. So it's something that if you wanna have continually have, it may be difficult to maintain. And also if you go to the gym, inadvertently you're gonna really develop that trapezius muscle just with doing anything, I guess. If you have to have really been in a lot of pain or you're having it done just for like an event, then I think it's probably good. But to have it done regularly, I think it's far too much maintenance personally. One area which I get a lot of patients asking for is Botox in the calf muscles, particularly with ladies that wear heels. So when you wear heels, your calf muscles are way more defined. Some ladies that um, essentially maybe have a, like, a higher muscle component or they exercise a lot, they feel that their calves may look too masculine and therefore injecting Botox in the calf muscles slims it down so it's not so prominent and it can work really, really well for those patients. So I'm saving the best to last. One of the indications that we once got at a clinic, which, um, you know, actually for the record, I don't completely agree with, is Scrotox. So, it's in the name. Botox for the scrotum. So the scrotum is actually, um, part of the scrotum is the muscle. So for those men that are watching, when it's cold, the scrotum brings the testicles up to the body to increase the temperature. When it's hot, it's looser. Certain patients contacted a clinic based in London and they said that you know they wanted to uh, have an appearance when it's cold, because it's very cold in London, that their balls look a little bit bigger and they're lower. Now obviously, we don't treat patients like this, but there are treatments that are happening like this. And actually, I would say that you really need to be careful if you're gonna have scrotox, mainly because it will affect the temperature regulation for your testicles and possibly affect fertility in future as well. There's a reason why that reflex is there. As I always say, you gotta protect your private bits. Ending on a more serious note, look, botulinum toxin has got many uses in the body. For use in uh, urology, in gastrointestinal uh, medicine, and also um, for certain conditions, especially during childhood, um, that have too much muscle spasticity. So, you know, individuals that have too much spasticity, so they can't actually uh, use their arms. When I was in the NHS, this is, these are the areas that we used to inject Botox. And I think using Botox for cosmetic concern in the body, you should always think about twice whether it's actually worth it or not. 
because there are patients that really need it in other areas. Um, so I think that's really important to end on a little bit more of a serious note. Um, if you've got any questions uh, about Botox in the body, just let me know um, in the comments below. Don't forget to click the link to subscribe, also that bell button, because we're constantly uploading new videos with new fresh content for you guys. Thank you.